steps okay so let's say the rank at baseline the rank at midpoint and the rank at end point we're going to have so you can see that we go from smallest to largest the smallest value one the second two the third uh the third sorry the second smallest value one the second two the third three and so on so you see the smallest value here is a 40 followed by a 50 followed by a 60. in rank order 60 is bigger than the 50 uh, oh, that's a three here that should be so that's a three here okay the 50 the, f the smallest in the uh, for the next part participant is 42 so that's a one followed by participant followed by the 50 that's a two followed by the 58 is a three the smallest here is a one a two a three the smallest here is one next one is two three the next one is this is smallest this is the next smallest and this is the largest three and uh, then we have uh, one two three and finally uh, we have one two and three which gives us our ranks uh, for each of our groups so what we can actually do now is we can actually sum up the ranks okay so we can actually sum the ranks up uh, for each group uh, to give us a summation of the ranks so we have one plus two gives us three six seven eight uh, that gives us 11 12 so for group one at uh, the baseline the sum of the ranks is 12 then we have two three uh, we have five seven ten we have 14 is the sum of the ranks for the midpoint measurements then we have three and three is six seven ten twelve thirteen and sixteen is the sum of the ranks for the for the end points okay now we're in a position to actually calculate our, our freedom and test statistic so we have our fr is equal to 12 divided by how many participants have we got well we've got one two three four five six seven sets of of tuples so there's seven participants okay uh, times how many groups have we got we have three groups times three groups plus one okay and that needs to be multiplied by it's the sum of the squared ranks okay so it needs to be multiplied by well it's 12 to be squared plus 14 to be squared plus 16 to be squared and we need to reduce that by three times the number of participants which is three times seven times the number of groups which is three plus one okay and this is a bit of calculator work here so let's see what we have so we have 12 divided by 7 times 3 times 4 gives us this factor here which is 0 0.14 so this is 0 0.14 so we end up with f or is equal to 0 0.14 to two decimals this factor here is 12 squared plus 14 squared plus 16 squared gives us a value of 596 minus this value here which is 3 times 7 times 4 which gives us a value of minus 84 okay so our fr our friedman test statistic is 0 0.14 times 596 minus 84 gives us a value of in this case here we have minus 0 0.14 0 0.5 i didn't have any ties there sure didn't no there was no ties there okay which gives us a value of 0. 0 0.5 0 0.56 is the test statistic yeah okay. oh, excuse me okay and now what we have to do uh, is we have to we, i suppose we have to now i suppose run our hypothesis test to actually test this uh, test statistic uh, okay so we're nearly there now okay so let me just maybe i'll just sanity check this here again okay so make sure i have everything right uh, okay I think I have everything right here, haven't I? Yes, it's 12 divided by n times k times k plus 1 times the sum of the r squareds minus 3n times k plus 1. That's perfect, okay? I'm just going to just look at this factor here again. 12 divided by, uh, let's say, 7 times 3 times times 4 gives us a factor of... 0 0.1428 let's just multiply that by 596 to see what we get okay there we go i read a bit much round too much rounding here okay too much rounding okay okay too much rounding here so i'm not actually going to round here i'm going to keep the exact value and now i'm going to take away the 84 to actually give us yeah the negative value was a problem there yeah to give us a uh, 1.11428 okay so actually the test statistic uh, is 1.14 don't be rounding too much here you can see that we, by rounding too much here 
uh, we lost a lot of precision here yeah uh, and it actually ended up with negative test statistics so now our fr our fr is 1.14 so now we're ready to go now now we're ready to go with the actual hypothesis test okay so let's just do that okay and the hypothesis test has five stages. We, we de define the hypothesis.